1982, Dietrich Mateschitz, an Austrian national who worked as a sales executive for a toothpaste manufacturer, Blendex, went on a business trip to Thailand. There he came across a drink named Quitting Diang, which he found to be very effective in reducing his jet lags and increasing his energy levels. He saw potential of a drink like Quitting Diang in the Austrian market and met with Chelio Yuvidia, who was the owner of the Thai company that manufactured the beverage, and proposed to license Quitting Diang's recipe in Austria. Chelio agreed, and in 1984, both the partners invested $500,000 and founded the iconic Red Bull Energy Drink. Dietrich adopted the product to Western taste by adding carbonation and lowering the quantity of caffeine. Besides caffeine, Red Bull also had two other energy-enhancing ingredients, namely taurine and glucurona lactone. Red Bull claimed that along with these energy-enhancing ingredients and a variety of other sugars and vitamins, the beverage provided numerous performance benefits such as improved physical endurance, feeling of well-being, reaction speed, and concentration. All these properties were well suited to a European consumer's modern lifestyle. But launching Red Bull in Austria wasn't easy, and the founders faced many obstacles before getting approval for sale in Austria. The Austrian government at the time had only three categories for edible items, traditional food, dietary food, and pharmaceuticals. Dietrich wanted Red Bull to be categorized under traditional food, but wasn't allowed to do so due to its claims about performance benefits. Therefore, the company lobbied to create an entirely new category for its product and named it Functional Food. Foods under this category had some additional medical benefits beyond the usual dietary benefits, but were still different than pharmaceuticals. Due to its unique nature at the time, the Functional Food category was highly regulated and all claims by the marketing department had to be backed by scientific evidence. A 3,000-page long document was submitted by Red Bull to the Austrian Food and Drug Administration Authority for approval of their product. As an upside to this extensive testing and documentation, entrance of new competitors into functional food category became very difficult. Red Bull was officially launched in Austria in 1987 and was positioned as an energy drink. It was not meant to be consumed for enjoyment as soft drinks like Coke and Pepsi were. It was also given a strong medicinal taste to amplify its difference from other soft drinks. Red Bull was only available in a single package, a slender, silver and blue, 250 ml can with the oriental themed logo that depicted two Red Bulls that were about to collide head on in front of a yellow sun. The brand logo signaled that the contents were different and stronger than traditional soft drinks. Product differentiation was further enhanced through premium pricing strategy. Today. The most important and fascinating aspect of Red Bull's branding strategy are their advertising and promotional campaigns. The company spends around 35% of its revenue on marketing, which amounts to $2 billion annually. From the beginning, Dietrich Mateschitz used creative marketing tactics to spread positive word of mouth about Red Bull. Shortly after the product was launched in Austria, the company placed empty cans in clubs and bars to create the illusion of popularity. Other energy-related beverages of the time had limited their consumption to specific occasions, activities, or times. Mateschitz, on the other hand, devised an elastic brand image for Red Bull through the slogan, Red Bull revitalizes body and mind, which encouraged consumers to drink Red Bull whenever they needed a lift, whether it was morning, noon, or night. Red Bull extensively uses event and sports marketing to promote its brands. It has sponsored numerous action sports events such as snowboarding, surfing, skateboarding, and skydiving, and also owns two Formula One racing teams. Over the years, Red Bull has also invented many comical events. A classic Red Bull event is the Red Bull Soapbox Race, which is a thrilling race of custom cars developed by a team of amateur racers, and another comical event named Red Bull Flug Tag, in which participants construct a flying object and attempt to fly it off a ramp into a lake. These events are not so much about sports, rather they offer great entertainment value to consumers and in the process project Red Bull's personality as an innovative, individual, non-conformist and humorous brand. Today, Red Bull dominates the global energy drink industry with 43% of the market share and sells around 7.5 billion cans annually. That's all for this week. 
Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and share the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave your suggestions in the comments box below. We'll meet next week with a new video. Until then, goodbye.